we're going to take a look at our tool database and a little bit about organization, but mostly about saving the existing database out and how to import another database or how to transfer your tool database from one computer to another. So we're going to go up to the Toolpaths menu, then click Tool Database. This is my tool database, and I only have the tools that I own in this database. So I see a lot of people just import a huge amount of tooling and tools into their database to use. Um, I find that somewhat problematic for myself because when I am designing and creating files that I'm going to cut, I don't want to get out to the shop and realize that I do not have that particular cutter that I designed and saved my toolpaths out for. So in my tool database, I only have tools that I own and that are in my drawer. If I end up breaking one or destroying it and I don't have it in my drawer anymore, I come in and I remove it from the tool database so that I don't get confused and try to select that later. Um, I also use the notes for reordering and, um, and, and all of that. But anyway, this video is not really about that. It is about how to transfer and save out the tool database. There are a couple ways of doing it in the newer versions. The one is the online version is just if you want to save your tool database, just click the upload your current tool database to a file. It tells me it's going to overwrite the existing one that I created already. There's already one there, so I do not need to overwrite it. If I am now on a different computer, we would just again coming into tool paths, tool database, and select the download. This will select the in download the existing tool database that I've just recently uploaded to the the my portal, and it is going to give us the option of what version do I want. I currently have VCarve Pro version 11. I also own version 10 of Aspire. That you're able to choose which one you want. Once you select OK, it is going to tell us that, hey, we are going to overwrite our existing tool database and replace it with the one that is dated um, as such. Do I want to continue? I'm not going to in this case because I already have it. Another option, if you do not have the internet uh, connected or your version connected to the cloud, is coming down and selecting Save the Tool Database. This is going to save it to a file. I'm just going to enter in a file name and clicking Save. I have it existing already, so I'll just click Save. I can now take that file, which I just saved in my Downloads folder, take that file, save it to a USB drive. Then when I go to a computer that I have VCarve Pro installed on that does not have internet access, I would just go to Toolpaths, Tool Database, then click the Open button, selecting the file that I have saved, selecting Open. This is going to give us some options to import. The import is going to uh, give us a another tree of the tool database. So basically, it's going to have those tools entered in there twice. Uh, the merge uh, seems to be uh, the one that I would select um, and uh, have it overwrite. Um, and then uh, that is it. Uh, the one thing that I do, uh, again, when I go to do a fresh install on a machine, the first thing I do when saving out toolpaths is come into the tool database and click the trash can down below and remove all the default tooling that comes with it. Again, it's because I do not own half of those bits that are in that database and I do not want them in my tool database because this is my database with my cutters and my tooling in that. So hopefully this helps uh, 
in knowing how to save, transfer your tool database from one computer to another.